Today we have Srashti Goyal with us. She is a PhD student at ICTS and also a gravitational wave student working with LIGO India. So I have prepared a set of rapid fire questions for her and let's see how she performs. Hello Srashti. So how are you doing? You're doing good? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing fine. How are you? Yes, I'm doing good too. So are you excited for these uh, rapid fire questions? Yes, yes, I am. The first question is, how would you describe your research to a high school student? Hmm. So, I'm working on something which is, which is like, if you have heard of a black hole, black hole is something which is so compact that even light cannot escape them. So, there are a particular kind of uh, waves that come from those kind of objects. What LIGO is working on and I'm part of it is to detect those waves and extract how the physics, uh, extract the physics from that and most importantly testing the Einstein's theory of uh, relativity which talks about the gravitation and all. So that's it. Yes, that sounds like a wonderful research project. So next question is, uh, let's see if you can choose between these. Python or MATLAB and why? Ah, okay. I'll choose yeah. Python any day because Python is, is a lot faster and it can it can handle a lot of data and it's open source. So it's an easy win for Python. So the next question is, the biggest change you have seen in your research life because of the COVID-19 pandemic? Uh, all right. So uh, one thing that has majorly changed is the... Uh, is the campus environment. So nowadays, uh, in my group is pretty interactive, so I don't face a lot of issue when thinking about the research projects. But still, it's hard to uh, keep track of things. Yeah, and it's the, the major thing that happens is it's hard to differentiate between the working, like the working time and the, like, the time you have for the recreational activities because it's meetings are happening at any random time and everything is quite random no, not a regular space even the sleep cycle has changed a lot so yeah okay i would say uh, like the sleep cycle uh, or the sleep schedule is one of the things and other than that because we are working from home so obviously that has uh, had an impact on your research life Okay, so next one is again uh, a type. Let's see if you can choose between these two. Electromagnetic waves or gravitational waves? <laughs> I'll of course go for gravitational waves <laughs> since I've been working on that. Uh, yeah, I think that's the main reason. But otherwise, if you see utility-wise in our world right now, of course, electromagnetic waves would win. But for the next era what is exciting is of course gravitational waves and yeah it's, it's gonna be exciting let's see how far we can look into the universe with that yes definitely okay so the next question is what is your favorite space image ah space image yeah ah, i need to think so what kind of space image comes to my mind I like the supermassive black hole ka image, the Quasar image, where you see the jet coming out and there's an accretion disk, the huge accretion disk. The next question is, how you got interested into astronomy? I was basically interested in anything which is interdisciplinary uh, in my bachelor's. So I would be, for example, interested in biophysics and geophysics and whatnot. Uh, but one of the things I focused on was the computational and the coding things. And I always liked physics, like every bit of it. So after joining ICTS, I basically had two options. One was the climate field and one was this gravitational fields where I thought my computational skills would also be useful. And I am interested in both kind of. So then I finally chose this gravitational waves things thinking that, okay, I don't want to live the 
leave the physics at all phys- physics because the when when once we go into climatology it's like more of the other factors that you need to account and less of the physics thing or the theoretical physics interest is less there physics and computation uh, those two things but yeah when i was joining i said that time i was into uh, into this stuff like okay i want to be something working in this something working about on on the space physics and so on later on it completely changed my mind and then somehow i landed here <laughs> yes yeah, that's interesting to know okay so the next question is uh, what was your reaction when you heard the uh, first gravitational wave detection news back in 2016 at my institute i sir there was like quite a like quite some noise about it okay so this is and people came to uh, to give talks also and from there i got to know okay it's, it's so such a big thing and so on However, at ICTS till the, till then I had not joined ICTS. At ICTS, uh, uh, it was ICTS at ten at that time, and uh, Kipthon had arrived at ICTS, and it was like a rock band performance <laughs> kind of. <laughs> He was giving talk, and it, so yeah, it 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 matters then how the what um, environment we are. But but I definitely understood that okay, it's something very big. So my next question is, uh, what are your hobbies that you currently do, or anything that you do in your leisure time? Uh, so my a six month old hobby is yoga, and let's say almost a year old hobby is playing piano. Um, apart from that, usually I like to dance and swim. Sometimes play table tennis and all those things. Okay, so there are many sports and even music. that's good to hear okay so the next question is hypothetical uh, let's see if we can have an answer for this if you have the power to teleport uh, to any place right now in the world where do you want to go oh i would want to go to the space definitely <laughs> to <laughs> see how the earth okay. how the like, earth any particular <laughs> uh, place like do you want to go to the moon or any particular place or just anywhere is fine ah uh, anywhere is fine but your yeah, moon would be my preference because yeah, of course on sun you cannot go and just burn out <laughs> so uh, the next thing is moon <laughs> so the next question is how has your mental health been lately so since past few weeks or past few months Uh, it's fine but there are a lot of mood swings uh going through i think that's more mostly because of covid not able to meet friends and get distracted so, so yeah but it's it's not that bad it's fine okay i'm glad to hear that and i hope that you it not just it's not just fine but it gets better and better yeah okay so <laughs> uh the next question is uh, what is your favorite science fiction movie or series so one is matrix the mm-hmm. matrix movie uh, where one takes the pill and then goes to some other world and it has and they have programmable brains where you can just learn something in in uh, very easily like from imagining stuff so yes. that was i think yeah that was the favorite science fiction um the next question is any of your favorite memories that you want to share that you have made on the icts campus i think one of the favorite memories was the freshers we received a warm welcome during our freshers and yeah i mean even the professors were like they were very cool with it they were like enjoying with us playing games with it like with yeah. all of us and so on and they also danced with all of us so yeah that was one of the good memories okay. as soon as you entered icts it starts with a good memory and a good yeah. vibe <laughs> well those were all of my questions so thank you srashti goel for uh, being with us and answering all of these amazing questions and i hope 
you you know do all the research and she's also a gravitational wave uh, student at uh, LIGO India and not just a gravitational wave student but she's also involved in the science communications program as well so strashti just before you go can you tell why exactly or you know what was the motivation that you joined this uh, science communication program along with the research that you were doing so one of the motivation is that uh, that the people who do research they should also be a part of the outreach and and ligo has been like working very well with the outreach programs and and i, I think it's it's not just uh, in india but outside the whole world the other ligo the whole collaboration uh, they have the whole uh, program to how to uh publish the science summaries and the articles and so on so so yeah i think the ligo india is, is still in the uh infancy stage for that so uh, i think it's a good opportunity to learn these things and yeah i find it interesting too so yes definitely so that was strashti goel a phd student at icts uh, studying gravitational waves and more so thank you strashti for being with us and that were all of my questions so thank you and have a nice day thanks rashmi